What's up guys, it's Free West Deep. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel. But if you already subscribed, thank you for subscribing, thank you for encouraging Free West Deep, and then thank you for being a part of our YouTube channel because right now I have a lot of things trending right now on social media. The first one I'll be talking about is uh, DJ Switch who actually had a live section with the whole world at Lekki to get um, you know shooting actually came out to you know kind of pour out her heart you know on things happening in Nigeria and I'm still going to talk about um you know Tunubu actually begging um Lagosians and Nigerians not to kill his son that he never ordered the shooting at uh, Lekki to get and these I'll be talking about but just before i jump in see this that you have to actually understand that a lot of um you know situation going around the country right now some people are trying to make it tribal some people are trying to make it um you know put sentiment to it but you have to understand that answers was not conceived out of religious issue or out of a tribal issue <laughs> Yes, I want to talk about uh, DJ Switch actually came out to make a live video and then um, on the Lucky to Gate uh, shooting, you know, when the shooting was ongoing, she was live with the whole world with about almost 200,000, uh, you know, views at that time. And then a lot of people are now talking different things about that. According to her, she said she never said 78 persons died, but she said at, at that time before her battery died, um it was like uh, you know casualties death recorded was about seven persons uh dead already at that time and uh, you know in the end she came out to say man 50 persons died and that is something that has been trending right now because some people are denying it saying that there is no evidence on ground so i don't know how to believe you know i would believe somebody who was live there who was you know actually you know trying to calm situations and then attend to attending to a lot of people and you have to understand that dj switch is a medical doctor and that is something you need to understand about her and the whole world is a kind of um you know commanding her bravery at this particular time man i just want you to see the video so that you can have a glimpse of um you know things for yourself because she actually t told the whole world a lot of things that transpired in that or that happened at the lucky to get shooting that is something that i want to let you guys to actually understand at this particular time i just want to clear a few things that i've been seeing online to our leaders I urge you, please, do not minimize the suffering of families. Do not insult the grief. Do not insult the grief of Nigerians. Do not insult the intelligence of Nigerians. Do not insult the pain that families are facing. People, people were falling left and right yes there were soldiers there another part that people are not really talking about the police also came the SARS people were talking about they also came so maybe 40 45 minutes after the soldiers left we were tear gassed tear gas is it's like It's like it's like pepper, right? It's like it's like cotonou pepper mixed with acid. It's like we were running. <laughs> this this is our what they call it, our coconut hair generation. <laughs> we would run, we would come back, we would run, and the only thing we fought with was our flags. We would sit on the floor and raise our hands up, waving our flags and singing the national anthem. That's all we had. They put off the lights. Even if, even if there's no power on a good day in that axis, there's always light at the toll gate. There was no light. The lights were off. The street lights were off. It was pitch black. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, a boy jumped on me and was shouting, cover her, cover her. 
I didn't even understand why he did that. They shot that boy on my back. I fell and while the, while the soldiers were trying to pick their shells, we were running around and picking their shells too because we wanted proof. These are some of the shells we picked. These are some of the shells we picked. This one I call my own because it's, it's landed right next to my ear. This one was uh, one we took out from someone's, uh, the military, they were there on Nigerian soil, killing Nigerian citizens. The police and their sars like people came doing the same thing, aiming and shooting, aiming, not they were pointing the gun at us and shooting live bullets. Who takes live bullets to protest? Who does that? So, uh, to my, um, to our leaders, please, I urge you to, to please not insult the intelligence of Nigerians and, and the families. Something I, 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 I think about now in hindsight, just, I wish we we hadn't done it, but we carried dead bodies and dropped at the feet of the soldiers so that they could see what they did to us. When I asked the uh, unit commander or something, why are you killing us? I wish we didn't do that. I wish we kept the bodies because they ended up throwing the bodies in their van. This was up until the next day, the next morning. Anyway, I want to I wanna thank uh, a Mr. Ola, who... Uh, is the man manager of Vodic Hospital, Vodic, Vodic Chasam. Thank you for, I'm sorry we put you in harm's way, but thank you for letting us into your facility and treating our brave Nigerians. Tinubu is on the trail again. You know, he was actually um, trained to France where he ran to after the lucky to get um, you know shooting protesting in Lagos his uh, business is being burnt and vandalized by some people and now uh, he came out to say man <laughs> you guys are still chasing me chasing my son and my you know family members please don't kill me and don't kill my son because we didn't order or i didn't order the shooting at Lekki because Tunubu is being uh, accused of um, you know being behind uh the shooting at Lekki to get a uh, protest you know shooting at uh, unarmed uh, protesters and that is something that a lot of people are still talking about at this particular time and you have to actually understand that um, you know Tunubu um came out uh to say on phone because he got a lot of phone calls when um the shooting was happening or after the shooting happened and he vehemently denied ordering the shooting um the the, 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 the shooting of uh, protesters at Lekito gate because he said he is not in charge of the army or he's not the governor of Lagos state but some people have actually uh, came out to say man we are targeting your business investments in Lagos and we don't want you to be our you know um you know godfather in Lagos because he actually tried to extend that to the recent Edu election which he was humiliated alongside his party and uh, Adams Shomole. But you have to actually understand that we don't need to be vandalizing properties at this particular time because that is what is being registered across the country, is being uh, reported across the country and is something disturbing to us and we need to actually stop that and find a lasting solution to it. But just before I jump off, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing